welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming something quite different. It's going to be a conspiracy theory. I've never filmed a conspiracy theory, so this video might get a little bit spooky or something. And so today I'm going to be talking about something called the Mandela Effect. Basically the Mandela Effect is a theory of parallel universes. There's some things that huge, like huge groups of people remember as a certain way, but for some reason, they're not that way. That's pretty much what the Mandela effect is. It's the idea of parallel universes and whatever happened, we transferred into another dimension and it just turns out that things are now different. Maybe only small things, maybe larger things that we'll find down the road. But for now, just just things that people think that they remember but they're different. But it's not just one person, it's not just a hundred people, it's like thousands, millions of people remember things as a certain way, and they're apparently not that way, and it just really freaks me out, and I think it freaks a lot of people out. When I was a kid, there were books and there was a show, and I used to go home and watch this show every single day I got home from school. It was on at like three o'clock, and I got home like really close to three, so I'd always come home and watch this show. I thought it was the greatest thing ever, and that show was called The Berenstein Bears, or so I thought. I used to call it The Berenstein Bears. My friends used to call it The Berenstein Bears who watched it. I thought the song was The Berenstein Bears. Like, I literally thought that was, you know, Berenstein. Like, you know, like, I'll explain this in a minute. So I used to read these books in school or, you know, like, in your house. Like, people had them in their house, whatever. Anyway, The Berenstein Bears, they were huge. This is, like, a really big example of the Mandela Effect. Now, I remember watching the TV and the TV saying the Berenstein Bears. Spelt like B-R-E-N-S-T-E-I-N. E-I-N. Berenstein. It's apparently not Berenstein and nobody can find Berenstein anywhere on any of their books, on any videos of these clips of the Berenstein Bears. They're all spelt Berenstein. And maybe it's just people have been pronouncing it wrong. The thing is, it's apparently been spelled Berenstain all this time. And it's weird because I have a pretty good memory of things. And I recall in my brain that it was spelled E-I-N. And I've been pretty good at spelling since I was small. And I'm pretty sure I've always spelled it E-I-N. But I mean, I don't know if I've ever actually spelled it out because I was so young and texting and all that. It wasn't really a thing back then. And I wouldn't really typically write about things in my diary because I didn't really have one. Because let's face it, everybody would find it and all my secrets would be out because that's just how things roll. But yeah, so I found that really weird. Like, that's a really big example of the Mandela effect. Like, thousands or millions of people remember it as the Berenstein, and not really anybody remembers it as Berenstein. Spelled A I N. I kind of believe in the Mandela effect, and that's pretty well the main reason. Now, I'm just going to put it into Google and see how Ber like, see how Berenstein is pronounced. Berenstein pronunciation. And maybe people have just been pronouncing it wrong all along. Berenstein Bears. Like, I don't remember it. I don't remember being called that. Berenstein Bears. I don't remember being called that. Maybe you guys do. I don't know. But maybe we just all pronounced it wrong. Maybe it was just Berenstein. Maybe there is parallel dimensions and parallel universes and we passed through some black hole or something. Now we're in a parallel universe. I really have no idea. Let me know what you guys think. I find it super weird. Maybe it's just because I was young and I really didn't know anything about it, but people used to read and learn from these books, learn how to spell through these books, learn how to read, and it's like, I don't know. It's just, it's really weird and it really freaks me out. Now, my second example of the Mandela effect is in Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. You have the evil witch in Snow White, and she would always go up to this mirror and she'd basically ask who was the fairest in the land. I always thought that it said, mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? When I read about it, I saw that it was magic mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? And I'm like, what? Since when? Like. The famous saying, everybody goes to it and they see a mirror. And they're like, I don't have like an actual mirror, but I'm just gonna look at this. And they were like, mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? 
whatever. Like, what? Like, what are you talking about? Like, seriously, that is not cool. It's not a magic mirror. I've never, I don't remember it being a magic mirror. Like, honestly, that weirds me out to no end. Moving on. Now, I'm not a huge Star Wars fan, but I know lots of people are. I've always seen on like memes and my Star Wars friends use this phrase, and it's when Luke finds out that Darth Vader is his father. And the famous quote saying was, Luke, or Luke, I am your father. Or something like that, like Luke, I am your father. I can't, <laughs> I don't know how he talks. I always thought that it would be Luke, I am your father, but apparently not. Apparently it's, no, I am your father. And I'm like, what? That's one of like the biggest memes I've ever encountered. It's Luke, I am your father. Apparently it's not. Apparently that's not a thing. Apparently that's never been a thing. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Another really interesting one is not a show I watched as a kid, obviously, but I watch it now. That show is called Sex and the City. I don't know if this is just because I was a kid at the time, but I never remembered it being called Sex and the City. I always thought that that show was called Sex in the City. Now, to me, Sex in the City makes more sense. Maybe it's just because everybody was saying Sex and the City so quick. I don't know. But if you were like Sex in the City, like Sex and Sex into the City, Sex and the City, like if they do kind of sound similar, so I can kind of see where you get the idea of sex in the city rather than sex and the city. But the thing is, is that usually when you're watching a program, I guess, I don't know, do, do you really pay that much attention to the title as it pops up on the screen? I have no idea. I kind of just wanted to bring them to your attention because like I said, they're really interesting. Like the Berenstain Bears, magic mirror on the wall. No, I am your father sex and the city. It just really weirds me out and I don't know. Could we have passed through a parallel universe? I don't know. It's interesting. I don't know if I believe that. I think maybe everybody's just been saying things wrong for so long that they've kind of gotten used to them and it's kind of spread and all that stuff. But at the same time, I'm like, there's lots of theories and conspiracy theories that I believe that not many other people do. They're interesting. And I have another one. It's for another video. See you guys next time. <laughs> yeah, no. Bye! <laughs>